Hey, welcome back. In this video, I just want to show you how to represent a system of forces and moments as an equivalent system with one force and one moment. So looking here at this diagram, we have a beam that's fixed to the ground at point A with a rigid connection, and we're applying a couple forces here in a moment. And basically what that's going to do is that's going to cause a reaction here at A. Now, there's more than one configuration of forces and moments that's going to give us that same reaction. And one of those configurations is just simply putting a single force at A and a moment about A, uh, and that's going to give us the exact same reaction force. Uh, and as long as the two systems have the same reaction, then we say they're equivalent. So basically what we're going to do in this video is we just want to find the one configuration where we have a single force, like I said, a single force acting here at point A, single moment, and this is going to cause the exact same moment as all of these guys. All right, so let's go ahead and draw our free body diagram. And we want to solve for MA, AX, and AY. Well, let's do X first. So we do the sum of forces in the X direction, and that's all equal to zero. So if we just rearrange for AX, that's pretty easy. We just get this is equal to negative 233 newtons. And because it's negative here, that means we've just assumed the wrong direction. So this is exactly the same thing as saying 233 newtons in the left direction. Okay, so let's do the sum of forces in the y direction. And then again, same thing, that's negative, so that means we've just drawn this in the wrong direction, or assumed in the wrong direction, which is no problem. Uh, that just means basically that the reaction force is just 250 newtons in the downward direction, just the opposite direction that we drew it here. Makes sense if we're pulling up on this thing with that much force, it's going to resist us and pull the opposite direction. Okay, looking for a sum of moments about A. Uh, let's pick a positive sense to be counterclockwise. And then let's sum up all the moments. And that is actually positive. It is in the way that we drew this. So what we want to do now is we want to represent this uh, with an equivalent system. Uh, so what we could do, I guess, basically, as long as we create the same reaction force, we can pick any configuration of forces that we want. But this is going to be pretty easy. So if we just look, in order to create a reaction force that's 233 newtons to the left, we're going to have to just create by acting here at the point, just a force that's pulling 233 newtons to the right. In order to create the reaction force that pulls 250 newtons down, well, that's easy. That would just be 250 newtons up. And then if we have this, uh, if we have this moment, so that was positive, so it's really going that way. Uh, well, we just, if we wanted to apply a moment right at A, we just have to apply 966 newton meters in the other direction. Now, the question was to, to figure out basically just one, uh, the equivalent system with only one force. So we can just uh, combine these two uh, with geometry to figure out what that would be. So we have 233 and then we have 250. And if you just do a little a squared plus b squared equals c squared, we figure out that this is 342 and those would be all newtons. All right, and then the last interesting thing that we probably want to figure out here would be, uh, it would be pretty meaningless to not have a direction, so we would need this angle here. And we can figure out that angle just by going theta is equal to, I guess that's 10 inverse of 250 over 233. All right, and then if you punch that in your calculator, we're going to figure out that that angle is actually pretty close to 47 degrees. So to wrap up this video, uh, I guess we can draw our final equivalent system, because this was an equivalent system, but not with a single moment and single force. Um, I guess we can change the color here. So if we want to do this properly with one force in one moment, we'll do that at about 47 degrees. Um, this is going to be 342 newtons coming off at 47 degrees, and we're also going to have to apply a moment here of 966 newton meters. And there you go, I'll draw a nice little square around it. It's not a very good square, but I think you get the point. Uh, this here is our equivalent system, uh, that's is equivalent to the original one, but drawn only with one force and one moment.